Hi, I'm Tom Petrie. Welcome to Cantito TV. Today, we're going to talk about how we build the Jewel 3 Dynamo Hub wheels that we offer on Cantito. This is Chris, our wheel builder. He's going to show you how it's done. The first thing that needs to be done is to apply spoke prep to the spokes. We use DT stainless steel 2.0 spokes for our wheels. We apply spoke prep to the uh, bottom three quarters of the thread on each spoke. Then we let it dry. The first step of the wheel build procedure is inserting the first set of spokes into the hub. We're going to install the spokes into the drive side first because we want these spokes to be the trailing spokes in the wheel build. You want to alternate holes as you're dropping the spokes into the hub flange like this. So this is what the hub should look like with the first set of spokes installed. There's really only one way this can look. Um, all spokes are drilled in an even number of holes, so they should be evenly spaced out when you're done. Now that we have the first set of spokes installed in the hub, we're going to begin the lacing process. This is a really important part of the wheel building procedure. It's the first spoke. Uh, it's very critical that this spoke is inserted to the spoke hole directly to the right of the valve stem, like this. The reason we do that is you don't want your spokes to cross out the valve stem. So you will continue around the rim and you'll insert a spoke into every fourth spoke hole. Just like this. You want to thread the nipples on three or four turns. And that's it. That's the first set of spokes installed and this is, this is how it should look. So the next step is to install the second set of spokes or the second set of inbound uh, trailing spokes. We'll flip the wheel over. You always want to start at the valve stem. And this next set will go directly to the spoke hole of the left of the first set of spokes you just installed, just like this. You'll push it through. It's the first spoke hole that is offset to the left on the hub flange, just like that. And like the first set, once you start installing these, you'll realize there's only one way they can go in. The spokes drilled, or the spoke hub is drilled in a even number, so they should be evenly spaced after you have them all inserted, like that. So now we're going to ins insert the second set of spokes into the rim. Uh, the first spoke of the second set should be in the spoke hole directly to the left of the first set spoke, which is this one right here. Now we'll install the third set of spokes. These will be the outbound leading spokes. You flip the wheel back over to the drive side. So you'll start lacing the third set of spokes. You'll go over the first two and under the third and into the spoke hole to the left of the inbound spoke on the other side. Like that. And you'll continue around the wheel and do the same thing.
Now we'll install the fourth set of spokes. Just like this. There's only one spoke hole left. Flip the wheel over, just like you did on the third set. Go over the two inbound spokes and under the third. And again, there's only one spoke hole left to insert it into. That's it, the wheel's laced. So now this is a part of the wheel build where we're gonna to start to tension the spokes. Um, it's really important to start at the valve hole. Um, it's important because this allows you to be able to keep track of where you're at as far as your position on the rim. Um, it's a great starting and stopping point. So already have these spoke nipples threaded onto the spokes um, to a point where I can start using the spoke wrench. So I just start, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you'll just go around the rim each nipple, a quarter turn. You'll notice when you're tensioning the spokes that there's a lot of slack You'll be tempted to go more than a quarter of a turn, but it's a good idea just to take your time and keep going around the rim, quarter turn increments, until you start to feel tension on the spokes. One nice thing about using DT spokes and rims, you'll notice when you're tensioning, it's how smooth the process goes. Um, it just eliminates a lot of the, the chewing after the tensioning is done and a lot of the vertical tensioning as well. So at this point you can feel the tension on the spokes. I'm going to get back to the valve hole, which is the stopping point. So you'll take the screwdriver, you put it between two spokes just like this. You can kind of rest it on the flange and really gently just bend the spoke elbows. You don't want to do it so much that you kink the spokes or bend them outward and inward. And just go around the hub just like this. And what this does is it takes out the slack in the spokes and it will eliminate some of the break-in of the spokes and you won't have to go back and, and re the wheel down the road. Then you flip the wheel and you do the same thing on the opposite side. Just like that, and you go back to your valve hole and continue tensioning. At this point, you can see that the spokes all have pretty much the same tension on them. You'll notice that there's a larger gap on this side of the rim than there is on this side. The reason for that is this biologic dynamo hub mount. has a dip that takes up space and to accommodate for that, we have to tighten the spokes on the rotor side first. At this point in the wheel build, I like to go ahead and put the rim strip on, um, mostly for a safety reason. If a spoke would happen to break, uh, it's pretty unlikely that's going to happen. But if it does, uh, it'll, it'll save you from getting hit in the eye with spoke. I like to use this tubeless tape made by Afeto Mariposa. This also allows you to use the wheel as a tubeless wheel, uh, if you like. 
Once you get your tubeless tape put on your rim, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, poke a hole for the valve stem like this. So we're going to go back to tensioning. Uh, we're going to need to pull the rim towards the disc side. Again, start at the valve hole and just work your way around the rim. So at this point, we've, uh, we've pulled the rim over to the rotor side and you can spin it. It's, it's centered. It's looking pretty good. And we'll just, uh, we'll do some fine tuning. Now that the wheel is true and round, um, we want to go around the rim and check the spoke tension to make sure all the spokes have equal tension. Everything looks good. So, there you go. That's how we build them. Biologic Jewel 3 Hub Dynamo Wheels from Cantito Road. Thanks, Chris.